Hey guys and welcome to Catherine Full Body. This is the second time I had to re-record this intro, but happy Valentine's Day, I guess. Um, I played the original back in 2017 and I almost completed it too, except for the Babel stages. It just took way too long. And I always died around like near the end of them. But anyway, I'm excited for the definitive edition and hoping to see what they have in store. So let's go. Start the get simple. In this mode, in this mode, unusually shaped blocks will appear in the In this mode, all blocks will be the usual size. Recommended for those very well. Please enjoy the world of Catherine full body with vigor. <laughs> Full-bodied wine is the best. Oh dear. <laughs> when the night sky fills with glamour, a lovely story awaits you. Good evening. Welcome to the Golden Playhouse special feature. Do I see some new faces? Once again, your guide for the night is me, the Midnight Venus, Trisha. Have you heard about this scary rumor? They say if you fall in a dream and don't wake up before you land, you die in real life. Tonight's story is Catherine Full Body, the second coming of an unconventional romantic horror. A man with a certain curse has a terrifying and dramatic week. Oh, does that sound familiar? <laughs> well, like I said, this is Catherine, but with a fuller body. It's aged nicely, with a sensual flavor, not unlike a fine wine. Our hero in this story is Vincent Brooks, age 32. He is an earnest and kind man. But one day we begin to see him have terrifying nightmares. Amidst the storm of temptations around him, he has another chance encounter. And an awfully cute one at that. But doesn't this seem a little... <laughs> convenient? Oh my, sounds like a recipe for disaster. Will Vincent be able to overcome the massive blocks in his life? Perhaps he'll take a road less traveled. <laughs> his outcome depends on you viewers sorry to keep you waiting raise the curtains it's time to savor the marriage of pleasure and pain now enjoy the show until we meet again
Save your breath and start climbing. If you fall, you're dead. I'll die! You fucking serious? The ground is collapsing beneath you. Hurry and climb to the top. Move the blocks to make a path. You can climb one block at a time, right? How am I supposed to move these things? You can grab onto a block with the A button and move it with the directional button. Some blocks can be moved, while others cannot. So be sure to experiment. If you make a mistake moving a block, you can press the L button to undo it. All right, I got it. Edge. All right, I got it. Edge. I got it. Edge. 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 All right. These blocks aren't normal. They'll lock into place and support your weight, even if they're only touching by their edges. What's that supposed to mean? They connect at the edges. Even if a block has nothing directly under it, as long as it's touching an edge of another block, it won't fall down. Connecting blocks at their edges to make stairs is the key to successfully scaling the tower. Strive for the goal by creating a path step by step. All right, I got it. Edge. 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 All right. Edge. 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 All right, I got it.
ringing. If we both make it out of here alive, we'll meet again. Hey, hey, wait a sec. When you hear the bell ringing, you'll know that you've almost reached the goal. Refer to the map located on the left side of the screen to see how much further you have to go. All right. <sighs> Get out through here? to begin. I'll be sure to prepare something extra special for you behind the next door. Let's meet again tomorrow night. I look forward to it. I'll be in today's code review meeting. Really? No, no, I'm just, uh, just a little under the weather. No, no, it's okay, I'll be right there. Yeah. Um, sorry. Go! Snap out of no. it! Were you even listening? Uh... Sure. You know, you've been a little out of it lately. Is everything alright? You've been spacing out left and right. Oh, sorry. I, uh, had to work early this morning. getting anything extra for this? For what? For all this overtime you're doing. Oh, uh, not this time. This time? Do you usually get overtime pay? Well, no, but... So you don't get anything? <sighs> uh. Here, two sugars. Hey, Catherine. Have you ever had a dream where you died? You mean like, where you're in danger? No, no, where you actually die. You're being killed or something. No, I usually do the killing in my dreams. Huh? <laughs> well, that sounds like you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Hey, how many years have we been together? Huh? How many years? I'm asking you. It's just, my mother's been calling me up and asking how we're doing. Oh. She's worried about me. She knows I've got a career that keeps me busy, but... Yeah. I mean, it's easy to keep things like they are now, but... I don't know. 
And sometimes easy's best, right? I mean, who knows what'll happen in the future? I suppose. And in other news, we have more on the recent string of unexplained deaths that seem to be exclusively involving young men. Cause of death is unknown, and while police are investigating accidental causes, foul play has apparently not been ruled Hey, change it! The match is on! No! Two beers over here! Coming! Catherine keeps telling me how her mother is constantly calling her. She says she's not worried about it, though. Feather's totally gonna take it, right, Vinny? What do you think? So, who are you betting on? Come on, pick one. You kidding? Women's wrestling? What I know? Sounds to me like she finally wants you to tie the knot. Uh, you think so too? What else could it mean? I've known you since we were kids, but. Wow. You. Married, huh? Hey, nothing's set in stone yet. What, you don't want to marry your girlfriend? It's not that. I love her, but I don't think we need to run out and get married. You know, it's it's like we're comfortable where we are. Are you? Yeah, that's what she said. Her job's always most important to her. I mean, you know she's always been the ambitious type, right? It doesn't mean she'll always be like that. That's not what I mean. Besides, you're single too. Hey, I'm still looking for my soulmate. <laughs> I'm not like you. I've already told my girl that I'm not interested in marrying her. What if you never meet your soulmate? Then I'll never get married. So what? That sounds just like you, Chief. Oh, how'd the interview go? <laughs> the boss seems like a really nice person. He said I could work here starting tomorrow. So everything's cool with you now? Mm-hmm. Way better. Hey, did old boss make any weird moves? Hey, Rin, come here! Uh, I'll see you later. Anyway, did you hear about Paul? He's dead. Paul? Wait, that Paul? He's dead? Yeah, I heard he just got divorced, but he looked healthy. It's a complete shock. What happened to him? An accident? I don't know. Apparently his mother just found him dead in his room this morning. This morning? Wait, you mean... Yeah. The mystery death on the news? That was him. Holy shit! No way! Maybe Will will wind up dead tomorrow too. Shut the hell up. Man, I hate the news. They're always trying to push their agenda for ratings. Toby, you are really easy to mess with. <laughs> well, speaking of crazy stuff this morning, I pissed the bed for the first time since grade school. What? Oh, that's messed up, man. <laughs> I had a really scary dream, but I don't remember what it was about. Oh, man. How old are you? 32. I know that. You know, I don't think I need to hear this. Shut up. I was really fucking scared, all right? Oh, where you guys going? Stick around. I, I don't want to go home just yet. So, why don't you have Catherine meet you here? No, I just saw her today. Besides, she'd get mad at me if I told her. Ah, oh, jeez. What does she see in this poor fool? Sorry, but I gotta be in early tomorrow. Don't drink too much, okay? All right. Take care, Vince. See you later. Oh, see ya. Oh, hey, Erica. 
So, she managed to get the job, huh? Of course. I can't just abandon someone with amnesia, especially when they seem like such a good kid. And like Johnny said, there's this innocent cluelessness to Rin that oh, I just can't help caring about. Not to mention the whole stalker thing. Who would do that and why? Seems like even she doesn't know. Now how could that be? You should find out. Everything okay now? Yeah, I think so. Um, I wanted to say thanks. Not just for saving me, but also for finding me a job and a place to stay. I was so scared. I couldn't remember anything. I'm so glad I met someone as nice as you, Vincent. <laughs> There's nothing really. Anyone would have done the same. Still, you saved me, Vincent. I start working here tomorrow, so I'll do my best to show you my appreciation. You got a mail. From time to time, you'll receive texts at the bar. You can respond to someone. Give it a try. change Vincent's inner ideas, a meter will be shown. Vincent's words and actions will affect the story. Remember it. Hey, how many years have we been together? Marriage, huh? I figured this would happen eventually, but just change jobs. I don't want to give her trouble. out of the blue? It's not like her. You got a mail. here
some new faces. That poor lost soul is particularly intriguing. You'll find there are many lost sheep in the prison of despair. <laughs> Last night's dream? Again? What the hell? I was at the bar and this girl came in and then... Damn, I can't remember. What is going on? You're the new guy from last night? Boys, you're that guy from yesterday. Listen, watch out for the cracked blocks. They'll break after you step on them. Really? Many blocks have unique characteristics, such as cracked blocks and immovable blocks. Whenever you see a new block, proceed with caution. Alright, I got it. Alright, right, I got it. Alright, I got it. You know you can hang from blocks, right? It's a really useful technique. If you can't find a clear path to walk, try looking for a new path along the edges. You'll drop down to the edge whenever you run out of footing while dragging a block. By crawling along those edges, you may be able to reach areas that couldn't be accessed on foot. All right, I got it. All right, All right I got it. I see you're still alive and kicking. If you can't see ahead of you, try looking around. Even without dragging a block, you can easily hang down by running off a ledge where there is no step down. This technique is vital to your success. Be sure to get comfortable with it. Alright, I got it! Finding and picking up a mystic pillow will grant you an additional undo until you reach the goal. Gather as many as you can. and try a new Sorry for all the undoing, I just really wanted to keep my high score. Who's everyone? Hey, hey, wait a sec! Once you've crossed a checkpoint, you can retry from that spot. Be sure to run through it whenever you see one. Check! 
Undo. Undo. All right, I got it. like you survived. Who, who are you? A sheep? Do I look like a sheep? You're the sheep. Everybody here is a sheep but me. Wait, I recognize that voice. Who are you? Where the hell is this place? Wish I knew. One thing's for certain, though. If we don't run, we're going to be killed. Killed? If you see this place once, it's all over. You'll keep coming back every night. Every night? You're kidding me. We all have the same fate here. If you don't want to die, you've got to climb. So if I climb, I'll be saved? There's no guarantee. But take a look at that. See that bell? It's like a church or something. A church? If we can reach the top, there may be a way to escape. So there is a way out. Like I said, there's no guarantee. But we've got to believe. It keeps us sane. Those who panic die first. Just quit with all the dying stuff. I I'll do whatever you say. Just, just help me. Look, from here on out, I'm afraid you're on your own. I'm going now. No, 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 no wait. You hurry too. Hey! hey. I can't be serious. You can save in the notebook and talk with other sheep on the landings. Go on, talk to them. When the icon is pink, you can talk to them. It plays out once they have nothing more to say. concerned about someone other than yourself, given our present circumstances. I'm going to reward you with an oil field. An oil field? Ah, my usual habit. <laughs> Everyone dies eventually. Dying sooner, at least, saves you some pain, right? steps you mean to climb up. 
You'll have the support you need to reach higher and higher, like a pyramid. Remember this basic technique. What do you think? Nice. Hmm, uh, I think that might be tough by itself. Consider using this one too. Allow me to explain the slider. Pull out two blocks vertically, then slide the bottom one over. Remember this basic action. It utilizes the properties of edges. Since edges connect, you can make a stairway, even in tight spots. Oh, you're a genius. How was that? Bet you didn't know. Uh, yeah, I did. Anyway, what I want to say is this. If you're relying on luck to keep you alive, then it's all over. I know. My reporter's instincts are telling me this dangerous form of free climbing has some techniques hidden within it. There are many techniques to discover. I guess the key is to find as many as we can. All right. If you find anything, you tell me, okay? That's an order. Is there someone in there? I can't see through that window. Someone in there, right? Why don't you take a seat? Oh, man. Hey, long time no see. Or rather, nice to see you here. And welcome to the confessional. Who are you? This is the world of nightmares. I guess you could call me its supervisor. I sense a force of change rising up. What exactly happened in the other world? I guess it doesn't matter. You lambs are all destined to die here anyway. What? Don't be ridiculous. But before I kill you, I want to determine the value of your life. So you'll have to answer some questions. Question one. What expectations do you have for your significant other? Pull the rope with the answer that best matches your true feelings. your choice. Mm, I guess everybody's different. Hey, who are you? Are you doing all this? I told you. I'm just the supervisor. Someone else brought you here. It's someone you know. <sighs> you never know what people are actually thinking. To learn the truth, you must survive. Then you can think about what's going on here. Let's head to the next trial. There's still more? Commencing Area 2. Are you ready? Alright, I got it. Alright, alright. Alright, I got it. Are you getting the hang of this? How the fuck am I supposed to get the hang of this? Hey, don't run up ahead, help me! Sorry, man, but I'm not going to die helping you. I've got to climb too. Oh yeah, as you climb, you run into strange items. Strange items? I don't know what you're talking about. I'll try to remember it for later. You can only carry one item at a time, but each one has a very useful purpose. Don't worry about using an item at the wrong time. If you regret it, you can always undo. <laughs> when you use a right block, a 3x3 three three platform will appear at your feet. This enables you to create footing even in tight spaces. All right, I got it. Edge. Edge. All right, I got it. All right, I got it. I'll see you up ahead. Edge. Sorry. Edge. Edge. All right, I got it.
this? I've seen others here and there. The fighting's gonna start getting fierce. This is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. There's no time for courtesy. Anyway, no matter what pops up, stay calm and keep climbing. What the hell is this place? How high does this damn thing go? I don't know. I wish I did. Yeah. Like this? Edge. All right. Check it out. All right, I got it. Like this? I got it. I made it! Here I go. <laughs> you survived. Impressive. You. Looks like you're still alive. Is that you? You're safe too. Barely. Still. How many people died trying to come here? People? I don't... Listen. Here, you see everybody else as sheep. But all these sheep? They're really human. There's got to be some reason why we were all brought here. What reason could there be? Why do we have to suffer like this? Who knows? But... I do have an idea. An idea? Let's stop the speculation. It's just going to confuse us more. <sighs> you should think of what to do next. I'm hearing rumors of something big coming soon. You be careful now. Something big? Still, you're really getting the hang of things. There's nothing more I can teach you. That can't be true. Come on, you gotta have something you can tell me. If we're lucky, we'll meet again. Uh, hey, wait! Great. At the landings, you can learn tips on how to climb. Moving blocks around mindlessly won't work. Try to pick up some useful techniques. New techniques will be written down by the other sheep. Hmm? What do you want? No, oh, nothing. Let's make it out alive. I'm not sure I feel about being encouraged by a sheep. And I guess it's better than being a chef. I'm even worse, a kitchen hand. Huh? What's a kitchen hand? I said hand, you idiots! Kitchen hand, like a cook. Pay attention. Oh, sorry. <sighs> kitchen band. Sorry for shouting, but you need to listen better. There's nothing. Oh, you're new here, am I right? Let me ask. Do you have any coins? You may have seen them lying around while you're climbing. I'll trade you useful items for them. Uh, would you rather have coins than an item? I'm a numismatist. I love money. There's nothing in life money can't buy. I've got a plaque with that on it in my office. No matter what world you're in, as long as you've got money, you can do anything. These gold coins are symbols, symbolizing money. And if that's the case, then I can save myself if I have enough of it. That's my theory. Oh, so you don't know... If you are still having trouble getting through a stage, you can buy items with coins. If you are already carrying an item, it will be replaced if you buy a new one. Be careful. However, buying items makes it more difficult to earn the gold prize. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The white cube creates a platform of block. Nah, I don't need it. Huh? You think you're window shopping or something? Uh, uh... <clears throat> Excuse me. Please come again. Hey, are you the same as me? Were you put down here by some trick? Why were we chosen? Do you know anything? Come on, how can I survive? I can't keep climbing. I don't know anything either. Listen, if you want to live and climb, that's all you can do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Gotta stay calm. <sighs> calm. I do feel better now. Thanks. Hey, didn't 
you showed me just a few minutes ago? How dare you? You're just some sheep! I'll show you next time! I heard that all the sheep here are actually people. Newsflash! Fuck you! I need to make sure I survive! No! It's not a matter of right or wrong, it's about life and death! Yeah? What good is having pity going to do you in here? No matter what happens to anyone else, I'm gonna live! Well, I found this out just now. Monster! It's fuzzy and fluffy at the same time, and it's coming right at me! Snap out of it. There's nothing like that anywhere near here. The monster talks. Sheep. All the sheep here are really human. What? Really? I... I just pushed two sheep a little while ago. <laughs> I saw a sheep fall past me on my way up. I... I can't get that scream out of my head. It won't go away. All you'll hear is your own death scream. You can stay here. Even this place will fall eventually. some techniques to get higher. Techniques? Like what? Oh, come on, teach me anything. Maybe this will allow me to explain the tornado. If blocks are stacked all over the place, calm down and pull them out one by one. Move them aside and bring them down like a tornado. Then make a staircase and climb. Oh, is that how you climb? Wow. You're amazing! Oh, I think I can go on a little longer! I'm thinking about that technique you showed me, so I won't forget! Sorry, I gotta go. Good luck! <sighs> Who was in there? Sounds like a kid. It can't be. I found this out. How high does this reach? We found a landing of sorts here, so we should expect there to be other sets of stairs. Don't tell me we've got to go through this tomorrow, and the day after, and... Third time's the charm, right? <sighs> I found... How high does this reach? We found... Oh, th oh. <sighs> Yo, have we met before? You survived because of the techniques I found, huh? Tell me something. Let me show you another great technique. Allow me to explain suspending. This technique gives you more room to maneuver. Push a block off a ledge with nothing below. As long as the edges connect, the block will remain in place. How's that? I'm a regular blockologist, huh? Hmm, that's a good start. Try to remember this one, too. Allow me to explain pullback. If you climb up and find yourself stuck, try pulling a block and backing down. By creating a stairway as you go down, you will be able to go higher than you could before. You knew that? Yeah, I knew. Okay, you find any new moves, you come straight to me. This is coming from the executive manager. I'll write down our techniques. Feel free to check them out. Sit down for... Oh, man. You're here, Lost Lamb. Next question. What do you value? Right, I've had enough of this. A man's worth can't be measured by a single question. Not to mention, you have more than one path ahead of you. <laughs> this is the second question. Does life begin or end with marriage?
So that's your answer. I see. This is actually a giant chapel with eight floors. Wait, does that mean there's an end to this? The world is in a state of flux. I won't be able to guarantee what your future holds. Be careful what you take for granted. I'm sure you've heard the stories of people losing such things. Something big is coming. I can feel it. Something the likes of which this world has never seen. I guess there's no point in worrying about the future. You have more pressing matters to attend to. <laughs> Are you ready? I like that laugh. So what the hell's going on here? You won't escape. Huh? What? That voice? What if I... I won't let you escape! What the hell is this? Catherine? The fists of grudge have right, seen. It. It's the killer. Do not die. Edge. will be converted into normal white blocks. This is handy for getting rid of tricky obstacles, such as cracked blocks or immovable blocks. Freaking controller drift. Are you having some trouble? Remember, you can always go back and do some of your moves. Undo. Undo. Undo.
he gone? I'm safe, right? Yeah! something special to show you tonight. Think back to long ago. Back to a time when you felt happy. Sorry about today. I don't usually burn the bacon like that. That's all right. I don't mind it a little crispy. I can tell something's going on with you. Are you working too hard? <laughs> no, I'm fine. <laughs> You've been gaining weight, haven't you? Can't forget to eat your veggies. Well, I put ketchup on almost everything. <laughs> that doesn't count. You know what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Maybe a little workout will burn out those extra calories. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Fond memories, huh? You should think long and hard about what you have to lose. Let's do this again tomorrow. If you can survive, that is. Just a tradition, right? Seriously, who wants to be tied down? As long as two people are together, it's okay, right? It's best to be free, don't you think? Kinda surprising. Hmm? You know how it is with most girls. As soon as they're adults, all they can think about is tying the knot, right? But there are girls like you out there. <laughs> Never knew. Oh, it's not that strange, is it? Men aren't the only ones who fear being chained down. I'll remember that. Thank goodness. Huh? We think alike. Oh! work tomorrow, so I need to get home. Oh, oh. I had fun tonight. Oh, oh. You must like what you see. <laughs> I'm not staring. You're a bad liar. You taste like smoke, <laughs> but I don't mind. <laughs> you don't say. This is not good. Hmm? <gasps> what is it good? Well, uh, you know, hooking up after we just met. Jeez, what the hell am I saying? Hmm. Huh? Um, is this gonna be a problem? So, okay, I cheated on Catherine. This is bad. This is really, really bad. But I didn't make a move. She forced herself on me. Fuck, man. I drank way too much. Ha <laughs> Uh... Would you mind not staring at me like that? It's kind of creepy. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Listen, I don't want you to get the wrong idea, okay? I don't just sleep around. I can't. 
came here because I like you. Uh, oh, sh oh. So, how do you feel about me? Huh? Oh, wow. Um, I can't quite explain it. Uh, I feel odd. Hmm. You see, this is my first time. Oh wow, I can't believe it. And I am really screwing this up right now. So then, it was love at first sight? Huh? Ah! What? I'm sorry. I'm really... You said you have to work, right? Work? Uh, I guess... Sorry. I, uh, I gotta go now. I have a, um, a dentist appointment now. Dentist? Yeah. Dentists get angry if you're late, too. Oh, I wanted to stay with you a little longer. I guess they'll have to wait until next time. <laughs> okay, see you soon. Hey, wait! I'm actually dating someone already. Oh, this is a mistake. A mistake. It's gotta be a mistake. Ah, you know what? It just hit me. You know how they say every guy has three hot streaks with the ladies in his life? This is your third. Hot streaks? When the hell were the other two? When we were kids, you're the most popular with the girls. <laughs> I don't remember that. The second time you were in the zone was when you started dating Catherine. Although, uh, that's over if she finds out about this. <sighs> Crap, man. She's probably gonna kill me. That's what you're all scared about. As long as she doesn't find out, you're safe, right? Just act like it never happened. I'm not like you. I can't just ignore this. Well then, why not switch it up? That way you won't hear any more marriage talk, right? All that stuff about soulmates and eternal love is bullshit. Married life sucks, man. I really want to go through the same shit I have. I'm not like you. I don't want to sleep around. I just want life to stay the same. <sighs> what am I gonna do? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. If you're gonna whine, you shouldn't have done it, dumbass. Well, no shit. I wish I could just live all carefree like you. Don't you realize there's nothing you can do, you schmuck? No matter how good you are to a woman, you never know if she'll stab you in the back. <sighs> Well, if you're gonna ditch the new girl, hook me up. She's cute, right? You got a picture of her? Nice. No, I don't have her pick. She's not your type, anyway. Come on, how do you know that? Because she's my type. Oh. <sighs> Damn it, I am so fucked. Hey, have you heard the rumor? About the dream where you're falling? Huh? Who cares? Come on, if you fall and die in the dream, you'll die in real life. My friend's boyfriend almost died. Isn't that scary? Huh? How do you know? Were you able to see his dream? Hey, you all right, man? You don't look so hot. Uh, I guess I didn't really get much sleep last night. Obviously. Anyway, you're way too freaked out over a one-night stand. Hey, you paying attention? Listen, man. Huh. I never saw the girl. Oh, really? I figured one of you guys told her to sit with me. Eh, uh, if this girl was cute, he'd definitely remember. You know, I gotta say, because of you, Jerk, I never get a chance to date anyone. If I was a ladies' man, I wouldn't be here every night with you guys. Anyway, you dig the older chicks, don't you? Yeah, I want a woman who's, you know, mature, stern, and has a nice pair of heels. Whoa, man. I like that creepy guy in horror movies who tries too hard to be noticed. Shut up! I'm not like that! What's wrong with, you know, having some adult fun with someone older than I am? Hmm. So? Did I hear someone call for me? Oh, hey, Erica! I've got a nice pair of stiletto heels I know how to use. 
Whoa, Erica. Okay, enough of that. So have you guys heard about the woman's wrath? They say it targets cheating men and kills them. Or not. Which is it? Wait, 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 what? What exactly is this woman's wrath? Oh, you don't need to worry about it. You only care about your girl, Vincent. Oh, what are you talking about? This guy totally needs to know. Cheating is pathetic. I agree with Toby. Pathetic. Who are you calling pathetic? Shut up and eat your peanuts. My eye! Huh? What? You're cheating. Weren't you talking about marriage? Why don't you say it louder? Seriously, stop yelling about cheating and shit. I think someone on Mars didn't quite hear you. Oh, that's low, Vincent. Lowest of the low. Don't call me that. Now you know. Let's just leave me alone. Well, well, come on, tell me about this girl. Oh, God. Apparently, she's destiny level cute. Cut that shit out. Are you kidding? Finding your soulmate is awesome. I'm totally jealous. You jackasses better not mention this to anyone outside the bar. I am serious. Dude, we know the drill. Say, have you heard? It seems that Boss was a bit of a player back in the day and broke more than his share of hearts. You see how he's wearing those tacky sunglasses indoors? They say he's using those to hide his face. <laughs> yeah, right. You're in hot water yourself, right? Maybe you should invest in some shades. Ha ha ha. Shut up. I'm done fooling around. Oh, by the way, Ren's gonna play the piano here starting today. That? Okay. Hello. Do you know where you are? Okay. Never mind that. Uh, how about a name? Uh, uh, Rin. Rin? Uh, that's a nice name. Uh, who is that, though? What's that? Amateur hour. Oh, don't say that. Rin's working really hard. Uh, Vincent? What did you think of my performance? Oh, it was... Uh, great. Yeah, it was great. Really, uh... unique. Thank you so much. I was hoping to play a little better than that, but... Don't worry about it. No one gets things perfect the first time around. I guess you're right. I'll have to keep practicing. Yeah, if the bar doesn't go out of business by then. God! Well, I'll see you later. See ya. <laughs> well, nobody's perfect. I mean, <laughs> if she's that cute, who cares, right? <laughs> What's up with you anyway? Saving some cute girl from a stalker in the streets? Sounds like a daytime soap opera. That stuff doesn't really happen. Well, it did, so give it a rest. Does that girl really have amnesia? Erica, you took her to the doctor, right? Did they find anything? Not really. They think it's only temporary. But it must be hard when the only thing you remember is wanting to play piano. Hey, so are you two really neighbors now? Yeah. The uh, last guy just happened to move out. You better keep your hands off her. Oh, shut up. It's not like that. I, I'm an old man over here. But you guys really came through for us. You know it. Having Rin work here was a great idea, huh? We have you guys and even a police officer as customers. 
Not to mention, public spaces are a lot safer if she's really being stalked by someone. Yeah. Spend some time at the bar. You can drink by pressing the Y button, or get up by pressing the B button. You can open menus with the plus button. You can change the puzzle type and difficulty of the game in... Right, with that I'm gonna end this here. See you guys next time.